Hello and welcome back. Now, today I want to talk about some news that we've been getting from My Hero Academia and maybe a little bit on some other series too. Some other YouTubers have of course talked about this before but I thought you know I, I would make a video on it too because I haven't uploaded in maybe two days. You know I need to get something out there. So let's start with My Hero Academia because we've had a lot of news coming out for this series like we've had obviously season 3 which is announced for April we already knew that much but now we're apparently getting a video game as well which i think is coming out in 2018 i haven't really looked it up to those specifics but i'm assuming it is and the third thing that we've got about my hero academia is a movie now this is something that actually surprised a lot of people we didn't really know that we were going to be getting a movie as well because we already had season 3 coming out we had the video game but yes we were hit with yet another bombshell being the movie that we'll be getting and by the looks of it it looks like it will be sort of time framed in manga territory because in the image that we see of Deku he actually wears his gamma suit which is the suit that he's wearing at the moment in the manga meaning that it could be a hint that the time frame is set after he got that suit you know so after he learned the shoot style which is very recent in the manga and that would really be interesting in my opinion because normally when you get a first movie you know it's typically set early on in the series but if that's the case then that's not really going to happen with my hero academia's movie because obviously if he's gonna have the gamma suit it wouldn't really fit having that at the beginning of the story again and this is just a hint it doesn't have to be the case of course there is one last thing about my hero academia that i kind of want to talk about and that's the popularity poll because that apparently was leaked or officially announced not quite sure but yeah it looks like you know bakugo is just dominating this poll once again i mean you can't really expect anything less bakugo is everybody's favorite mine included well in class 1a at least and this poll seemed to have a lot of characters from 1a not strictly 1a like we had Aizawa, we had Shinzo, All Might, but as far as everyone else was concerned, you know, it was people from class 1A. We had Bakugo, we had Deku, we had Todoroki, we had Kirishima, we had Ida, we had Denki, Ochako, so yeah. A lot of people that you know everybody recognizes and kind of feels like this poll was made based on the anime in my opinion because of the fact that Shinzo was on it and the fact that Ida was so highly voted. I mean again that's just my take on this because Ida not really the most relevant character at the moment in the series as far as the manga goes so I, I really don't see why he got so high. I think he got fifth place which is quite high in my opinion when there are so many other characters that stand out. A lot more than him. I mean, don't get me wrong, Ida is not a bad character or anything, but if you think on your favorite characters, Ida is not really the one that I think of to have number five. Talking video games again, because we had a few other series that were actually getting games as well, and this is of course good news for people who follow these series. Starting with Black Clover, you know, after the video game for My Hero Academia was released, we also got announced that Black Clover is getting a game as well. And this has mixed opinions, of course. I mean, some people love it, some people hate the idea of Black Clover getting a video game. Me personally, I don't really mind. I'm probably not going to buy it because, you know, although I read the series, I'm not invested enough in it that I would actually pay for it. And I think One Piece is also getting a game which is actually supposed to be open world. Now I'm not really at all invested in One Piece because I don't really like this series. Don't get me wrong, it's not a badly written series or anything. It just doesn't really fit with my personal preferences. But yeah, that game looks kind of promising since it's an open world game, which I don't think we've really had as far as anime games go. At least not anime games that follow a series. Like if you look at Naruto games, you know, they are all fighter games and I don't think the previous One Piece games had a sort of open world theme to them and obviously the Dragon Ball games we know they're all fighter games so having an open world game that is based around the big anime or manga like One Piece that's going to be quite interesting but yeah that's really all I had to say I just wanted to kind of make a video on something you know talking about some updates I guess some news on anime specifically series that I do on my channel that mostly being my Hero Academia and Black Clover, of course, because those are the series that I'm pretty much currently doing. So yeah, I'll be ending this video here. Let me know what you think down below in the comments. And if you did, be sure to Detroit smash that like button if you enjoyed. And subscribe if you're new to my channel. This has been your favorite host, Perman. I will see you next time.